What is up everyone? Okay, so today we are going to play with Colourpop Orchid to Not Collection. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Nurjana and I am a makeup enthusiast in Singapore. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell for upcoming videos, okay? Okay, just a disclaimer, uh, this set, Orchid to Not from Colourpop, is already sold out, but... Uh, when I post this video, there is at least about 4 to 5 collection that has been released by Colourpop. But some parts or some products uh, is still available. So do check their website to see what's there. Okay, so in this Colourpop collection, there is an eyeshadow palette, there is a body shimmering powder, 2 blush powder, 3 lipsticks and 3 eyeliners. So if you are interested in this whole collection, then keep on watching. First, we are going to talk about this body powder. Okay, something about body powder or oil, I don't always use them. But it's I'm glad to have this. Do I always use purple in my collection? No. But is the packaging pretty? Yes, of course. And it's purple. So that's probably one of the reasons why I bought this whole set. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I believe that Soul is part of the sister brand from Colourpop. And I know that they release quite a number of products as well. I mean like mostly like those skincare or all that good stuff. So it is actually quite big. Okay, it has a huge mirror. We are going to start with the two blushes. And it's called Potted and also just My Pluck. Okay, it's a pressed powder blush. I really love the packaging so much. It is so detailed. But it doesn't like apply like on the packaging, you know, the real deal, okay? So that's one thing that I noticed about this whole thing. Okay, I'm going to do swatches at the back of my hand. It feels so smooth, guys. Okay. Okay, that doesn't really see a lot. Okay. So these are the two swatches at the back of my hand. And I'm going to actually apply it on my face, okay? So to see the colors and how it looks like. Okay, I'm going to take this, uh, the this color called potted, and I'm going to apply it on my. Oh, it is so pigmented. Okay, let's go. <gasps> okay, it is very very pigmented. <laughs> okay, it is seriously very pigmented, but it's a very nice color. Which I love. And it's a matte. It has that matte finishes to it. Okay. And I'm going to use like the lighter shade. And I'm going to apply it at my cheek. my The apples on my cheek. Because it doesn't like really appear on my hand. Okay. So let's see. And I'm just going to mix the two shades together. Okay, so these two blushes is matte. I love the, you know, it's very smooth gila punya. Okay, so uh, what I did is I used this dark shade to put it like right here and the lighter shade at the apples of my cheeks. Okay, I'm going to try to do it again. Okay, like at this side. It is very pigmented. So you have to like relax with these products. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to mix, okay? If I used uh, these two shades separately, I mean it would be very funny. And also that lighter shade doesn't really come off, you know? It's quite light for my skin. And so if I mix these two together, it, it has that nice combination, which I really love. Okay? We move on to the shimmering body powder. Okay, so something that I realized is that it is magnetic. So I mean, wow, uh, color pop does step up, okay? So and the color is really nice. It's it looks like it looks dark, but you have to mix. Okay, and also did I mention that it comes with a mirror? Just that I did not open yet. So yeah, these two together, it's very nice. I'm going to swatch it at the back of my hand and apply it on my face as well. So let's see. 
Okay, so back to this shimmering body powder. Okay, it's a body powder. It has that kau tahu macam coconut vanilla smell from Victoria's Secret. Okay, so it has that kind of fragrance. And also one thing about body powder is that I don't always use like anything on my body, like shimmering stuff. But I will definitely apply this on like as a highlighter. Okay, but first I'm going to uh, swatch at the back of my hand. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, so it has that gold specks with a tint of a uh, purple, and it's not much. It doesn't feels like powder. It's very much clay. You know, it has that much texture. So I don't know how to explain it, but then I'm going to apply it using a clean brush. Okay, I'm going to apply it as a highlighter. Okay lah, okay lah. Aku buka dia punya <laughs> sayang. Okay. okay. Once again, I'm going to take some and apply it as a highlighter. Okay. Should you use like a um, brush? Or can I just use my hand? I'm not quite sure. Can I try? I'm going to try. Okay, so with hand... <laughs> Okay, so as you can tell using your fingers, it has a bit more punch to it. So, you can tell this is more highlighty than this. So, yep. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's for your body. But then, I guess it can also be applied as your, you know, your face, on your face. So, I guess it's fine. So, we are going to move on to the next product. Okay, I'm going to start with the lippy stick. Okay, this is something that I realized is that it is cruelty free. Okay, um, not that I know of. Probably, it has been cruelty free since forever. Just that I just realized about Colourpop. So this, I mean, it comes with three shades, and it is the Dancing Lady, Heavy Petal, and Orchid. So I'm gonna do the swatches on the back of my hand. And that, my dear, it's so pigmented. My dear la, <laughs> guys la, but, okay, cantik sah, okay, and that's just one swatch, oh my goodness, okay, okay, uh, I wanted to have like combo, you know, like these two shades together, or these two shades together, so let's see, okay. I'm going to apply this Dancing Lady first. It glides so smoothly. Highlight. So much. Okay, it's not the best uh, swatch or apply application. Okay. But this is how it looks like. Honestly, I can just like wear these with like eyelashes, you know, mascara. And that's it. So I after I apply that, um, that first uh, lipstick, I'm going to use a darker lipstick for the outer like lips i just want to try i just don't have anything like in my mind i just want to play with okay like that and using the lighter shade to put it at the center again i don't really have any idea what i'm going for but then i just want to play with makeup that's all <laughs> okay Okay, that light is not too light. Okay. Okay, so just an update. While applying my lipstick earlier, the smell from the body shimmering powder still linger. You know, the smell of coconut and vanilla. So yeah, just to let you know there's perfume there. 
Okay, so move on to the, I believe it's the eyeliner. Okay, press metallic. Color stick. Okay, so it looks like this. It comes with three shades. Okay, uh, it glides on so smoothly. Once again, it, it has the same texture as the lipstick just now I used. And so these are the three shades, okay. Okay, the darkest shade is called You Grow Girl and it's like matte. The center, it has that macam apa ni? gold specks, like gold glitter. Okay, and it's called Venus Sleeper and it's a matte sparkle. And the last shade, the top one, it's called um, Press Metallic. Okay. Okay, so for under the eyes, I'm going to apply Venus Slipper at my right hand side. And Press Metallic at my the other side. So, I just want to see how the shade feels on my eyes. Okay, uh, I'm wearing a contact lens. So, usually my concern is I don't really like, uh, like the product onto you know gets onto my contact lens so it'll be very comfortable uncomfortable so let's see if it transfers okay once again i'm going to use the venus slipper oh cantiknya and press metallic at my left hand side Okay. You can't really see like any I mean it, there is like a bit of difference. This has like more pinkish and this more like gold. And using the U Grow Girl at the top lip for both. I want to play as much colours as possible. Okay, earlier I did mention that my main concern is uh, I don't really like uh, like eyeliners to transfer to my contact lens. Okay, so far I do not have any issue with these three shades. I really love these three shades so much, okay? So, uh, I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow. Okay, uh, so the last product from this collection is the eyeshadow palette. Okay, once again, the packaging is not as nice as the box itself which i really hope that color pop like listens and probably the next collection they put the details onto the packaging rather than the box <laughs> but obviously it's not a big deal lah, okay but this is just my opinion okay it comes with a mirror a full-size mirror which i really love and it's a nine pen palette okay so it has a four shimmer and five mattes Okay, and I'm going to use like the darkest shade, these three shades. I'm going to mix them and I'm going to apply it at like at the end of the corner here. Okay. These two shades. It's called Ada and Morph. Okay. And I'm going to apply it or pack it at the, at my, at the back of the lids. Okay. So I have already applied these two shades and applied it at the back there. So uh, this is something that I realized there is no fallout. Okay, like really. And it's so pigmented and it's easy to blend. And I really love this color. Nice. Next, I'm going to use this shade of all purple. It has that dual chrome finishes to it and I'm going to put at the center of my lids. Using my hand. Okay. Like so. Okay. And I'm just going to blend that. Okay. So, of all purple on my right. And I'm going to use like another shade uh, on my left. So, I'm going to try this shade. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So, and put it at the center of my lids. It feels so smooth and is definitely very easy to blend. 
and using a brush I'm just going to blend okay do you see these two shades it's so beautiful okay and I'm going to use this seedling using a brush and I'm going to put it at my lower center if that makes sense right here and using this pretty pretty one okay at my inner corners okay okay and put it at my inner corners I'm going to take um, this shade again and put it at my cupid bow. And I'm going to take the darker shade, ha na -a and buddies, na -a and buddies, and put it just right there. Okay, the it's either I did not like you know pat off the excess, but then the darker shade seems to have like a bit of fallout, but nothing serious about it. I'm going to use like a concealer and to cuff out like that. Okay. Okay, so I have already used concealer and everything. I have already applied mascara because I want you guys to see like all the shades, all the colors. It is extremely beautiful. I This is definitely my first time using a purple shade. Like from eyes, from cheeks to you know lips. I am really, really impressed with Colourpop. And I truly enjoyed creating this look. Okay, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoy uh, using all these Colourpop uh, collections. Thank you so much for watching a uh, one brand I would say collection from Colourpop. So if you love this kind of you know releases from Colourpop like and you wish to and you want me to review it, test it, swatch it, you know all of that good stuff, please comment in the section down below. Okay, so once again thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.